uh, reach that stage in any particular newspaper. Um, but it was it, it was has been helpful to, to me to to be able to condense uh, a description of an event into a small chunk. And this is a visual verbal chunk, by the way, because the newspaper um, uh, framework for the headline um, is a visual aspect of, of it, uh, as well as the, 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 at least the date. The date can be, could be put uh, down to the, the, you know, the, the minute that it happened, but uh, generally I found in a mural of this size, uh, the year was, was, was good enough. Also there, as you can see, some different kinds of events that we paid attention to and put on the mural. Um, so, uh, I think that's what I want to say about those. I find it very convenient to, to uh, to summarize history uh, this way, and you'll, you, when we look, go back and look at the at, at the mural again um, at the end of this presentation, you'll see that, that we also link them semantically with uh, arrows, or at least with lines. I forget what we did on that. Well, I have to go back and look myself. Um, so that the the, the, the arrows are uh, uh, the arrows connect them. As, as closely following or even causally happening. There were yellow lines and arrows both. Yeah. I've got oh. the, real, the real thing behind me, so I keep looking back and forth. Okay, okay. thank you, Jim. Um, oh, I mentioned this before. This is, this is the, uh, then the detail of the urgency that the NIREX organization was facing uh, a depiction of the 9-11 uh, um, tragedy uh, in the, and, the Pen and, and of course the, the, both in New York and in the Pentagon in Washington. Um, and the, the metaphor of, uh, or yeah, the, uh, of the bright red arrows uh, again, to attract the uh, eye to uh, pointing to the uh, decision Her Majesty's 